All right, uh, let's uh, let's start on something new. This is a, a quick tip to uh, show you how to add metadata, such as exposure, uh, ISO, uh, and other things, uh, focal length, uh, camera model, uh, to your pictures for share and learn. Uh, that way, when you show your pictures, the information will be right there on the picture. I'm using Lightroom to do this. Okay, here's so you can, what you can see. Here's Lightroom, and I'm in the library module. First of all, select the picture you want to you want to uh, use and share and learn. Whatever picture it is, I'll show. Uh, I'll take this one up the owl. Uh, then go to the print module. Okay. Now they all show up in the print module, and uh, it may show up a little different than this on yours because whatever format it shows up on here is going to be whatever you chose last time. So what I mean by that is. Uh, First, when it shows up, you may have to go down to the uh, page setup down below in the uh, bottom left. Okay, click page setup, uh, and what you'll do is you'll get uh, give uh, give the orientation of the picture. You can change it if you'd like. For example, if I change the orientation of this picture, you can see what happens. Okay, uh, so go to page setup. Make sure the orientation of your picture is the way you want it. Okay. Uh, you can also change the, uh, this is a 5 by 7 but I could make it a 5 by 8 8 by 10 whatever I like, say 8 by 10 for example. Uh, and, uh, and, and do it in that mode there. Whatever it is that you choose to do, uh, uh, the next thing you want to do is make sure that your borders are set as close to the edges as possible. You want your picture to, to show up large, right? Uh, on, on the because uh, what, what's going to happen is you'll be leaving space down here below for the metadata to show up. So I've picked, got this picture sh set up as an 8x10 and I've got the space down below for the metadata. I could go back to what I had before which is a 5x7 which I think f uh, fits this one a little bit better. Okay. 5x7. That's good. The next thing you do is go to the top right uh, and you're going you're gonna to pick single image contact sheet under layout style. Okay. Um, then you're going to go down to below. You could zoom to fit if you want. Zoom to fit. You watch the picture the, uh, and see what happens. Uh, you may or may not like what it, what it does, but go ahead. To, uh, in this particular picture, I like the zoom to fit, so I'll do that. Um, stroke border just says, do I want a little line around the, the border? This particular one has a black, very narrow black stroke around it. I can add that or, or not have that. Um, so uh, as, as to your taste, whatever you'd like to do. Okay, and then uh, margins minimize these. Don't don't uh, don't uh, you know the, the larger margins you don't you want the, those margins at all. Minimize these as close to zero as possible. These won't allow you to zero mount, but this is this is what I've got. Uh, and then finally, roll scroll down all the way down here until you see uh, photo information. Okay, now I want to add photo information, and where it's going to appear is down below on the on the image here. So the first thing to do is pick something like caption for example I'll pick caption that's a good place to start uh, and it's going to add ask, add me uh, I, I'll, I'll take that take that back instead of caption here uh, I'm going to say custom text okay so custom text is a lot better I'm going to put the uh, the name uh, Raptor shoot in here but I could I could call this whatever I want to call it I could I could just call it uh, owl and tree if I want to uh, Okay, owl and tree. Uh, and once I've done that, I'll click out of there. You can see what happens. It says owl and tree down here. Um, once I uh, click out of that and I've got custom text, click custom text uh, again and go down to edit. Okay, now in the edit, you can see custom text is already here in the, in the, uh, in the box. Uh, I'm going to add some more things to this thing. What I'm going to add, for example, is I'm going to uh, add, uh, maybe I'll make... Uh, uh, the, the make of the camera okay make of the camera uh, I'm gonna go to uh, uh, model of camera model of camera you can see I just clicked click it in the same location here so now it's gonna have custom text make and model I can now go to uh, uh, let's go to uh, uh, focal length uh, and then go to uh, exposure Exposure, a bias, uh, let's say just exposure. And finally, I'll, I'll go out ISC speed, speed rating. All right. Now, it's a lot of information here. Allen Tree, Sony, uh, DXC, etc. Uh, and I probably don't need all of that. So I can go back to custom settings, edit that out. 
and let's just take out uh, make. Uh, let's see, I'm going to go back to uh, uh, make. I'll take this out. Now let's, let's go back. I'm going to go back here and just delete out backing up custom text. I'm going to put a dash in here. And be, be, uh, I, I'm going to lean focal length in there. I'll insert focal length. I put another dash in. The dash is just to separate it out and make it a little bit easier to read. Focal length exposure. I'll insert exposure. And then I will put another dash in here and put ISO speed in there. Oh, sorry, I, le I left off the camera information because it was a little bit too much. Okay. So once I've got that set up, uh, Owl and Tree, uh, it's got a, it's, it, it was shot at 174 millimeter. One fifteenth of a second, f uh, five ISO sixty four. All right, is that good enough? I'll now go back to custom settings again. I'll say edit, and uh, what I can see here, I don't like that equal sign. I'll I'll change that equal sign to a dash. Now that I've got it all like I want it, what I can do now is I can save that. I can I can uh, I can say save current settings as a new preset. So when I come back next time, I don't have to. Uh, uh, do this whole thing again. So I'll, I'll say this is my uh, share and learn. Share and learn. I create that preset. Okay. Now I'm ready to print this picture off. Done. So next time, basically, when I come in, I want to, I want to uh, select one of these presets. I, I pick share and learn. Okay. So that's how that works. Um, now, when I want to actually print this picture off, I'll, I'll go down to. Uh, I want to print this off, print to file. I want to make it a J, print to JPEG. See print job here, print to JPEG. And I'm going to print to file. Okay. Now it's going to say, where do I want my file? I'm going to call this. Owl. I'm going to put it on the desktop and save it. Okay. This printer, this picture now is ready to, to send to, uh, to uh, into share and learn. It's got all the information right on it. Uh, and if I go down to Lightroom, uh, and let's let's go here and reduce this thing. If I go to my desktop here and I look around, there's the owl picture down below. I can bring that up, and as you can see, it's ready to go with the information on it. Well, I hope this helps, uh, and uh, give it a shot. It's not that hard.